Hi, welcome to Deep Thoughts with Dana. This is Dana. This is your monthly tarot card reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of April 2019. If you'd like a personal tarot card reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. I have a $50 YouTube subscriber special that includes a video link of the entire reading. Enjoy the video. Namaste. Come into this reading with the Five of Swords. Conflict. Like, conflict, conflict. Tension, loss, defeat. It's requiring a lot of strength and a lot of courage. Because you're in the Nine of Swords, right? Racked in your head. Hard. Just really, I mean, like, intense, intense anxiety. Nightmares. Maybe can't sleep. Despair, right? Just despair. Because of the Eight of Cups, because somebody is walking away. Not only is someone walking away, but it's disappointment, abandonment, hopelessness, and walking away. It's all of them. That's how severe whatever this is for you, right? Severe. Prince of Swords says that you've received some kind of communication that is responsible for this whole situation right here. Some kind of communication has come in and um, just rocked your world. Just rocked your world. There you are, manifesting with the alchemist. What you're manifesting is swift change, movement, getting the hell out of dodge kind of energy with the world card saying that this is completed, it's over, I'm on, I'm out, right? Traveling on down the road with the world card. The nine of wands says that you're defensive. What this card says is that you're tired of trying to work on it. You're tired of trying to work it out or you just have no desire to work it out. Whatever this was, as you walk in a way and you're done, you just have no desire to, to work it out, to talk about it, to think about it. This Princess of Wands comes in. This is a card about um, pessimism, right? Your, your pessimism, the pessimism. So this whole thing right here, this whole top row that we just talked about causes or was caused by a tower moment. This caused a tower moment. This was the tower moment. This whole explanation that we just did, right? That was the tower moment. The Seven of Wands comes in and talks about um, being confused. Just really being confused with, with just confused and challenged, right? And just really, just really guarded, right? You're trying to guard your heart. You're trying to guard yourself. And there you are in the Nine of Swords again, in the Nine of Swords in the same freaking, where was the other Nine of Swords? Oh, right there. Um, just racked, right? I mean, tormented, can't sleep, crying, just really in bad shape about a love relationship where there was some justice applied, some truth was spoken, cause and effect, karmic law, right? There was some justice. This justice was probably this Prince of Swords communication that came into you that put you in this position in the first place, right? And even though it was traumatic, it was still justice because you were being kept in the dark about something because this information blew your mind. You are, again, forward motion, moving, right? Moving. So you, my friend, are about to take a journey, uh, a new life cycle. One life cycle is ending, a new life cycle is beginning, a turning point in your destiny is, is what this has created for you because somebody was in a third party situation. That's this truth that you got up here, right here, this truth. Somebody was in a third party situation and it left you out on your own with the nine of pentacles, self-sufficiency, right? Now you got to take care of yourself. Queen of Swords comes in and says, you're cutting it out, 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 cutting it out, making decisions to plan for your future, manifesting, 
a um, creative new beginning in your life. You need to recreate yourself, right? You need to recreate yourself. You're on your own now. You found out about this and you're like, uh-uh, no way. You're going to go build your own empire with the Ten of Pentacles. You're going you're gonna to give and receive and have prosperity and wealth on your own. You're going to build an empire all by yourself with some self-love right there. Right here's a little bit of a recap. So we have the emperor, which is control, authority, establishment, and structure in your life. Um, and the hierophant, right, which is commitment. The six of cups, family, nostalgia, memories, right? High priestess. This is a, a family unit of some sort. Some sort where there has been sorrow, heartbreak, grief, rejection, and painful separation. This Four of Wands represents a transition. With the Page of Wands, this Page of Wands represents um, discovery and free spirit, right? Because you're on your own now. And the Ten of Wands says that it's a burden and it's a struggle. It's a burden and it's a struggle and and this just is just sorry about all that. Over here we have you as the King of Cups though. You're coming out of this struggle and this burden. Well, yeah, I don't can't, I can't say you're coming out of it, but with the King of Cups, you definitely have some emotional balance and control, right? So I think you might be coming out of it anyway. See how he's carrying that towards the King of Cups right there? So emotional security and balance is in your future, right? Stability and the ability to plan for your future with the two of wands. To create a brand new chapter of your life with the completion of one life cycle and the beginning of a new life cycle. Twice, three times. So you have the world twice and then the wheel. And the princess of cups. Messenger of a creative new beginning in your life. If you enjoyed this reading today, feel free to drop a comment in the box below and let me know how it um, resonated with you and what's going on in your life. I read every single comment that you guys leave and I do reply to them as well. And um, share this video with whomever you think it may help, okay? Thank you so much and namaste.